Hey guys, hey Jared Rick. Good luck guys. <laughs> Let's go babe. All right guys, we are coming on camera today because there's a little special somebody visiting our house. Jared and Brittany! Jared and Brittany have offered to take our four kiddos for a sleepover, which means Lindsay and I have 24 hours to just hang out, which means these four had 24 hours to party with Jared and Britt, and they should be here any minute. What's up, dude? How are you? What up, Britt? Hello. How are you? Hi, Turbo. Hello. Hey, are you guys excited? Let's go Come hang out with us. And new guy in the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just huddled around Aunt Brittany over here. We are so excited. Are we going to have fun, homie? you guys? What's up, homie? What's up, T? What's up? <laughs> Love you, son. Are you guys stoked to help Jared and Brittany clean their house? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're really excited to clean. Ava, since you didn't clean your since you didn't clean your room, you get to clean their house, okay? Thank you. Mama. I cleaned my room. Oh yeah, oh, let's go ahead and go look at that. Hey, guess who gets to clean the toilet? Are you proud of it? Alright you guys, the kids are off for a night of fun. And it sounds like cleaning. Yeah, tons of chores. No fun. <laughs> no fun with us. What? That's true. Who's ready to go clean? Me! Yeah. Yeah. Guys, to see the full exclusive of this sleepover, go check out Jared and Britt you guys, on YouTube. They are like the most amazing aunt and uncle that these kids could ever ask for. Who volunteers? to have a sleepover with their nieces and nephew when they have off of work. These two. These two. The ever. We're so Thanks excited. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh, okay. we are stoked. Who's got, who's got two smiles and is stoked to hang out with four kids? This guy. These guys! <laughs> when Ava found out she was going to have a sleepover with them, she goes, oh, I'm gonna sleep in Brittany's bed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure they're stoked about that too. And that means I probably have the couch. <laughs> Which, if we're being honest, is probably once every two days. And she packed like multiple outfits to play dress up with Brittany. All right, guys, again, full exclusive on Jared and Britt on YouTube. Go check it out because Lindsay and I will not be there. We will be here at home doing our own thing. What do parents do when kids are out for 24 hours? Well, we don't know, but you need to come and find out. <laughs> Sayonara, guys. I just told the kids nothing but thank hey. yous and you're welcome. Hey, guys. Hey, Jared, Britt. <laughs> Good luck, guys. <laughs> Let's go, babe. I love you. Bye. Don't have too much fun without me. <laughs> They're like not even sad one bit. They're like, peace out, mom. <laughs> hey, Liz, how do you feel about the kids being gone? <laughs> Hello, everybody. We are on a date tonight because Dad. Jared and Brittany have our kids, like we mentioned before. It's the sweetest thing for them to have to have a sleepover. Brittany, honestly, is the sweetest little aunt. She just loves kids. She loves our kids, and they are so lucky to have her. Landon just really called us and was like, so what are you guys doing? We're just over here at this pizza place. It's really cute. Anyway, we are headed to dinner, and we decided that since it is almost the first of the year, and we are alone, we are gonna take the time to talk about some goals for the year, some personal goals, some family goals. We're gonna take the time to make some plans for what kind of trips we want to go on this year and just how we want to improve as a family and uh, make 2020 a really great year. And we don't have to be home at any certain time, so we'll see where the night takes us. <laughs> We have every day of next year planned out from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. <laughs> no, we actually we set some good family goals, which we're happy to share some of them with you. You know, tried to plan out some of the trips we want to do for 2020, most of which will be, you know, boating, things like that. But, you know, this year we will do some sort of, you know, family vacation like we do every year. We tried to gear our family goals around championing each other. You know, I think as siblings, sometimes you can be your greatest friends and your greatest enemies at the same time. And so we just want to encourage our kids to champion each other and to be a good friend to each other, have each other's backs and, uh, you know, be positive to each other, so. You know, I would love if our kids grew up and they just were the best of friends. I can say that in my family growing up, 
that really even as an adult now you know some of my my closest friends are honestly my my brothers and my sister and so I would really love that our kids just uh, I mean you guys see in the vlogs they're very sweet to each other and I think when it comes down to it they really are there for each other they are you know? in fact it's funny because I was talking to Landon's teacher one time about how Turin sometimes gets frustrated in the morning how his brothers will make him late to school and the teacher said to me, I want you to know, in the hallways, Turin's always worried about Landon and Ashton and checking on them and seeing if they're okay. And it just warmed my heart because I think sometimes we don't always, you know, see behind the scenes that kind of stuff at school. So. So I would just say more than anything, we just want them to continue to be champions as they get older. Because as they get older, new interests happen, friends become more of a hot topic, which is totally fine. But at the end of the day, we want them to feel like their closest relationships are definitely in the house. Okay, and Lindsay, but, but let's be real here, because at home, they definitely have their moments. Like oh, all totally. brothers and sisters yeah. do, you know? And, and I just think as parents, we're just hoping to... So the have family happiness at home. So the phrase Lindsay is using is water what you want to grow. So basically it's the idea that, um, you know, as parents we're going to water what we want to grow in our kids. And so we just are going to try to champion and make a huge deal out of the things that we want to grow. The things that we want to emphasize. So when they're, you know, really being kind to each other or they you know are really really giving or selfless or do something really awesome and then if they're doing something that's kind of frustrating to not put a lot of emphasis on that I think it's easy as a parent to lose your patience and get frustrated over the bad things but hopefully to focus a little more on watering what we want to grow well guys we tried to do something super fun tonight first of all Lindsay's crazy tired so she's probably super stoked this didn't work out <laughs> But we went to go try to race really, really fast go-karts. At a new place called The Grid. And they're all booked out. Christmas break for you though, because everybody is doing fun things. I know, but now we don't know what we're gonna do. We have no kids for 24 hours. What are we gonna do? And hashtag mom life, all I wanna do is do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we decided to do the next best thing because all of the cool activities are closed. Froyo. We're gonna get ourselves a little froyo and head home. Well, you guys, we did our very best. Do you want to know what I wanted to do all night long? Let me guess. Stay home. I kind of did. It's freezing <laughs> outside. We still have the Christmas tree up, and it's so quiet. That's very unique. You know, though, sometimes doing nothing is just better than doing something, which nothing is something. That's very wise. Thank you, thank you. We got ourselves some Froyo. We are back at home. Now I'm shivering. So we're probably just going to... We're not... gonna watch a Christmas movie. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna watch a Christmas movie. Lindsay will probably fall asleep during the Christmas movie. With the kids being gone, you'd think that we'd go run outside the house and go do and party all night long. No, we pretty much just love chilling at home and doing just about nothing. We did try though. I was really looking forward to racing those cars. Unfortunately, they could not take us. They were booked solid. So one thing I will tell you about Justin and I is that we are a little bit fly by the seat of our pants kind of people. We're pretty spontaneous. So a lot of times we don't put a ton of planning into our trip. So we're trying to be better about that this year and really kind of think ahead on when our kids are off of school and uh, hopefully plan a, a big family vacation this year. We always do little things. We, we travel for turn soccer team to uh, you know some nearby cities like Las Vegas or St. George and we spend our entire summer boating. We always do a friend trip to Bear Lake in July. We always go to Lake Powell as a family. Seems like we do Disneyland every now and then whenever we can get there but anyway so we're kind of trying to look ahead and make a bigger probably our family's first big trip planned for this year so Lindsay and I really like to go on cruises we've been on three cruises as a couple but our kids have never been on a cruise so except for turn as a baby actually that's true turn as a baby so when we, we went on a two-week Mediterranean cruise out of Italy which was a ton of fun the reason we did that is because it was a lot easier to see a ton of different countries from a cruise ship growing up as a kid I had been on maybe three cruises and so I just fallen in love with it and I think our kids would really appreciate that so we are thinking about potentially that if you guys have some cool vacation spots we would love to hear those as well so comment down below another place I've never been is Hawaii Justin has been lots of times as a kid uh, I've been f four times four or five times as a kid but I've never been the kids have never been so that's kind of an idea that's floating around as well 
We've also thought about taking the kids to Florida. We love Florida. We do love Florida. You guys saw, if you have not seen our Florida videos of Lindsay and I in Florida, when we first started videoing, uh, check them out because they are a ton of fun. And honestly, we love just kind of, again, the little spontaneous trips, the ones that aren't planned. And if they're not planned, usually they can't be like big trips like Hawaii or a cruise. Just short little spurts, you know, little getaways, which I honestly really, really enjoy because I feel like we can take more of them and they end up costing us less than just planning some really big trip. So the good news is it's still 2019, so we don't have to do any of our goals yet. So tonight we're gonna do a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> As predicted, guys, she fell asleep during the movie. All right, you guys, well, as you saw, Lindsay is sound asleep, which is honestly totally cool because, you know, she works tirelessly to take care of those kiddos, and I'm glad that she just gets to rest peacefully, doesn't have to put any kids to bed, she doesn't have to get up early, there's no school in the morning, the kids are gone, so I am super stoked that she fell asleep. Anyway, guys, well, thanks for joining us on our date. Uh, our stay date almost, you can call it. I guess it's good night. We'll see you in the morning. Hang on, hey. <laughs> hey, Lance, how do you feel about the kids being gone? <laughs>